I got caught up to this house. The uh, the homeowner was seeing these stains on the siding, and the siding was separating in the corner. Um, those are my crazy daughters over there, um, Marilyn and Ariana. So I was at this house, Ryan, and they were. Ryan. He's Ryan. See how the, there's brown spots on there? I'm, I'm really, doing a. I'm actually doing I a voiceover really on a video. You guys oh my god, me? those panels are so cute. So, like, uh, <laughs> so there's brown marks on it, and that's right. indicating that this is water damage. The crease is so. See cute. the crease. I like the that crack. Crease is like. The crack satisfies my uh, taste buds. <laughs> cracks are not good; they need to be covered up all the time. Oh, just see that so, admirable window. See that? The ladder is you don't so want to go up that ladder. That's insane. Yes, you do. Yeah. Jump off it. And now we're on the roof. Let's Let's try and see if it was gonna get. See what happened is this black spot is because someone went up there to try to fix the yeah, roof. Yeah, you can hear the noise. <laughs> and down we go. Now that's where all the pee goes down. You see how they put this black stuff here? It's it kind of looks like it's moldy. It's Doesn't still, it look like it's moldy? It's still leaking. It looks really moldy. They try to put some black caulking. The crease is so yummy. He's financing you. Oh, Ooh. yummy. <laughs> that is not it's supposed Kyle, to be there. That's my gut. That, uh, that's, that's my called, uh, that That's like a band-aid. Oops. Brian, Brian, Brian Someone just put it. metal and then put a bunch of screws on it. Oh, there's my jelly beans. Edwin I'll drop it in. Nice. Oops. So they tried to seal the edge of the metal with a caulking uh, tar some sort of caulking there I'll show you a video clip after this how that didn't work so I peeled it off underneath it it is wet and the uh, tar paper is wet also um, so that didn't work this is where the torch bitumen goes up the wall and the water will go down this area to this point on the left side, the bottom left, and that is the problem right there. It is not, it's directing all the water behind the siding to come around the other side, which is this side. So any water that makes it into that flashing is going to get into this ice and water shield, which is not even sealed down. There's a seam right there in the most vulnerable spot. That's a really bad idea. That should be one continuous piece and it should stick down and, you know, there shouldn't be any uh, seam there. That's a bad idea. Our new piece will go all the way up and be continuous. And this is just uh, several problems. So this, the last piece is the flashing directs the water right behind the siding. That's that is the uh, the biggest problem here, and you'll see in a second how much damage it actually did. That flashing should go over the siding like that. Direct the water uh, away from the house and into the gutter. And I'll show you how to do that with kickout flashing, which you can see now the damage that's been done. The kickout flashing is now installed properly, where it will direct water away. But this is how much damage that one piece of flashing did just one piece of flashing that's installed uh, improperly or just missing caused all this damage which was completely unnecessary um, just, just a horrible mess so we put kick out flashing on the bottom and then flashed you know ran up my, my ice and water continuous kick out flashing and then began flashing each shingle as it's supposed to be done <laughs> 